Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Danny, and today I'm going to talk to you about when high school students get recruited to play college sports. Alright, so the first thing I have to say about this is that it's not the same for everyone. Different people are going to get recruited at different times, um, but I can tell you about kind of the general trends um, for Division 1 athletes versus Division 3 athletes, and I can talk to you guys about when exactly I got recruited and how that worked for me. I'm a former Division 1 athlete at Columbia University, and I have a lot of experience getting recruited by D3 schools and as well as some D1 schools where I ended up playing D1 baseball. So um, I can tell you guys about both. I'm going to start by talking about getting recruited for D1 baseball because this usually happens a little bit earlier in high school um, than for D3 sports. So D1 will start probably during the summer after your sophomore year. You might start like talking to coaches then, emailing them, calling them on the phone going to showcases, that sort of stuff. Um, the really talented players um, will start like seriously talking to, to coaches about um, committing to play for them. Um, but if you know nothing's really sticking for you at this point, that doesn't mean like the end of the world, you can't play D1 baseball. Um, that's what happened for me at, at this time, my sophomore summer, I actually hadn't talked with any college coaches at all. Um, like seriously, you know, I'd been emailing them a little bit, but no like real dialogue about um, playing for them in, in college. Um, and I still ended up playing D1 baseball, so um, I was really late in the process to commit. I was the last one in my class to commit to Columbia, actually. Um, so, you know, that's another thing to keep in mind is that even though I started in my junior year, I was really late. So I would say, kind of generally, it's probably going to start during that sophomore year, summer. This is going to be the time sort of when maybe it clicks for you like, oh, I think I'm going to play D1 sports. Like, this is, this is probably going to happen. Um, just from the way that you know things are going with coaches at that time. If not much happened for you after your sophomore summer, it's not a big deal. Um, nothing happened for me, and I still played D1. During that fall and winter of your junior year, it's pretty quiet. Not much is going on, um, unless like coaches are inviting you to showcases or whatever. But generally, pretty quiet. Then during that spring, um, high school coaches are going to be in season, so they might not be able to see you play unless you're playing late in the spring. Um, maybe if like your team makes the playoffs or something and college season has ended and they're able to see you play then they'll watch you um, and then after your high school season and early in that summer D1 schools are probably going to be talking to you offering you again then um, kind of like the second half of their recruiting class um, they'll be trying to get done then and then uh, lastly they'll be picking up stragglers towards the end of the summer um, maybe like they need one or two more kids so at the end of junior year summer They'll be kind of finishing up the recruiting process, um, getting their last kids in for that class, um, and moving on. So I would say kind of at the end of your junior summer, if D1 schools haven't reached out to you about playing for them, it's honestly probably not going to happen. Um, it's really unlikely. It still could happen. Who knows? But um, you would either be looking to walk on at a D1 school, or you'd be looking to play D3 baseball. So like for me, like I said, um, until my junior year spring, I had zero offers, not even from any D3 schools or anything. So um, I didn't even I didn't know that I'd play D1 baseball until my junior year summer. I got a lot better. Um, D1 coaches started seeing me more, and I got my offer from Columbia September of my senior year. So I, like I said, I was the last one to commit. Really, really, really late, but it can happen. Um, I would say during your sophomore summer. Um, things might start to click like oh, I think I'm able to play D1 and then during your junior year summer That's probably when it's gonna happen now. I'm going to talk about D3 recruiting um, It's really similar to D1 recruiting. It just happens a lot later um, in high school like a year later. So During your sophomore year not much is gonna be happening um, And you might you might just be talking to coaches with like emails, but nothing serious yet probably no like official visits or anything like that then during your junior year um, during that spring, coaches will start to come see you. You might get some offers during your high school um, season, like in the playoffs. And then come the summer, um, during like the early, mid-summer, coaches will definitely be talking to you. Um, you'll definitely be getting seen a lot and having more serious dialogue with the coaches. And then at the end of the summer, um, all of the offers are going to kind of be finishing up. But they'll hold out a few more slots for even later into your senior year. Um, a bunch of friends of mine who played or are playing D3 baseball right now, they were getting recruited and they were committing to schools in their fall 
and um, yeah, I'd say late fall of their senior year is probably like the latest it's going to happen. So um, yeah, it's really similar to D1 recruiting. It just happens like one year later. That's yeah, the only main difference. I just want to talk about my experience getting recruited. Um, if you haven't seen my uh, video about you know me telling my whole story about getting recruited, check that video out. Um, but to get into a little bit more detail, I guess, um, like I said, my sophomore year, I had no offers and I wasn't really talking to coaches too seriously. And it wasn't until my junior spring during that high school baseball season while we were in the playoffs that I started getting my first offers from local D3 schools. Um, this was like really exciting. I kind of thought like, oh, I'm probably gonna play D3 baseball at this time. Um, I still had no idea that I was gonna be able to play D1. So junior year spring, that's when that started. And um, I got my first offer then. Um, during my junior spring, that's when I had like my first official visit at a school. Um, the coach invited me to campus, toured me around. Um, I had like a meeting with him. My family came, like my mom and dad uh, came with me. Um, and then he offered me a position to play for them. And um, I said I just needed more time to think about it. I didn't want to commit yet. That was like my first offer. So I wanted to see how that summer progressed. I had a few more visits like that, um, yeah, where they just take you around the school, show you the baseball field, show you the locker room, show you um, the gym, stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, during the summer, um, I guess I just got a bunch more schools. Now it was D3 schools, like from across the whole country. Um, and then uh, eventually D D1 schools started talking to me. Um, that was a big surprise. That was awesome. I kind of changed my like outlook on... Um, playing D1 baseball, where now it's looking for D1 schools to play at rather than D3 schools. And um, the summer was just about getting a bunch of offers and keeping my doors open, not committing anywhere too early. And then at the end of that summer, um, Columbia basically said that they were interested in me, and that immediately shot up to like my number one school that I wanted to go to. So I put everything on hold um, and was really focused on them. I was pretty open with all the other coaches who had given me offers that I was like actually considering. And I said, you know, like I really want to go to Columbia and I'm waiting for an offer for them. Like, can you just give me a little bit more time? All of them were really understanding and gave me the time that I needed. Um, and then yeah, Columbia saw me pitch the end of that summer and then they invited me to their camp where I pitched them in that September. And a few days later, they gave me an offer to play for them. Um, and I took that immediately. So yeah, it was during my senior year fall that I officially got um, an offer from Columbia um, and I committed to play for them then. So if I just had a few takeaways um, about like the timeline of getting recruited, um, I would just say it's a pretty slow process. Um, you're gonna have to work on it for most likely a few summers. Um, definitely right after your sophomore year, definitely after your junior year, um, if you're seriously trying to get recruited. If you're really, really talented, that's awesome. It's gonna happen a lot more quickly, probably after your sophomore year. If you're not that talented, don't worry about it. Just keep working, um, focus on yourself, get better. You know, don't get caught up in who's committing where. Um, you know, you're just gonna feel like worse about yourself. If you're doing that, trust me, I was there. So don't worry about other people, F focus on yourself, try to get better. Um, it's just gonna be a slower process and it'll probably happen um, during your junior year, summer, right before your senior year. And if you're gonna play D3 ball, um, it's definitely going to happen your junior year, um, in the spring, in the summer, and even into your senior year fall. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. Um, make sure that you stick around for more videos like this and that you leave any questions you have in the comment section. Thanks.